Paramecium is a genus of unicellular ciliates. These single-celled protists are naturally found in aquatic habitats. Paramecia are typically oblong or slipper-shaped and are covered with short hairy structures called cilia. Certain paramecia are very widespread and easily cultured in labs. It has become the common representative of the ciliate group. Its usefulness as a model organism earned it the title of the white rat of the phylum ciliophora. Paramecia cells are characteristically elongated. Historically, these organisms were divided into two groups based on cell shape. Paramecium aurelia, which is oblong, with a somewhat tapered posterior end, and Paramecium bursaria. This type tends to be shorter, and their posterior end is rounded. Paramecium propels itself by whiplash movements of the cilia, short hairy protrusions, which are arranged in tightly spaced rows around the outside of the body. The densely arrayed cilia move in a coordinated fashion, with waves of activity moving across the ciliary carpet, creating an effect sometimes likened to that of the wind blowing across a field of grain. Cilia also aids in feeding by pushing food into a rudimentary mouth opening known as the oral groove. Paramecia feed primarily on bacteria, but are known to eat yeast, unicellular algae, and even some non-living substances such as milk powder, starch, and powdered charcoal. Paramecia are eukaryotes, which means they are a well-organized cell with all the defining features of a eukaryotic cell, except for the nucleus. They tend to have a rather unique one, or two, or a lot. We'll get to that later. The external covering of a paramecium is called the pellicle. Under it, there is a layer of somewhat firm cytoplasm called the ectoplasm. This region consists of spindle-shaped organelles known as trichocysts. When they discharge their contents, they become long, thin, and spiky. The exact function of trichocysts is not quite clear, though a popular theory is that they are important for defense against predators. Below the ectoplasm lies a more fluid type of cytoplasm, the endoplasm. This region contains the majority of cell components and organelles, including vacuoles. According to a 2013 paper published in the journal Bioarchitecture, the name vacuole describes the fact that they appear transparent and empty. In actuality, these organelles tend to be filled with fluid and other materials. Concerning their genetic material, paramecium, along with the other ciliates, have two types of nuclei, which differ in their shape, their content, and function. The two types of nuclei are the micronucleus and macronucleus. All paramecium species have one macronucleus. However, the number of macronuclei can vary by species. The micronucleus contains all of the DNA that is present in the organism. It's the DNA that is passed from one generation to the other during sexual reproduction. On the other hand, the macronucleus contains a subset of DNA from the micronucleus, and it is where transcription occurs. The macronucleus is polyploid, or contains multiple copies of each chromosome, sometimes up to 800 copies. About reproduction. Paramecia can reproduce either asexually or sexually, depending on their environmental conditions. Asexual reproduction takes place when ample nutrients are available, while sexual reproduction takes place under conditions of starvation. In addition, paramecia can also undergo autogamy, or self-fertilization under conditions of prolonged starvation. Some species of paramecium form mutualistic relationships with other organisms. Paramecium bursaria and paramecium chlorellagerum, for example, harbor endosymbiotic green algae, from which they derive nutrients and a degree of protection from predators. Numerous bacterial endosymbionts have been identified in species of paramecium. Some intracellular bacteria, known as kappa particles, give paramecia that have them the ability to kill other strains of paramecium that lack kappa. I leave you now with this beautiful footage of paramecium aurelia and paramecium bursaria in polarized light. <laughs>